Ben here from Departures Capital, and we're three minutes early. So, first, you know what we gotta do, of course. We gotta post the link to this stream into our Discord group. Thank you everybody for tuning in, and we pretty much called this fake rally. Man, I knew the markets were gonna sell off. The rally was basically on nothing. Look, we're seeing the S&P up 0.31% now. We were up over one full percent on the day, but I called that fake rally. Dow's only up 0.25%. Nasdaq's barely in the green still. <laughs> like, I like when the markets rally for at least an excuse, but when the markets rally for absolutely no reason, uh, yeah, but what can I say? Things happen, things bounce. Um, I'm very frustrated with water, but give me one second, I just need to uh, post the link to our stream in the Discord group. So yeah, let me pull up the chat here, guys. How's everybody doing today? Smash that like button. Ooh. Comments are slow, okay. I just need to Find my chat. There Find my chat. Oh no. So we're posting the link to the Discord group, or sorry, in the stream, so we're live. Power hour. There we go. <laughs> so we're gonna be looking at the SP 500. Obviously, we're seeing a fake rally. Um, I have to. I have to add some tea to my tea pot real quick, guys. I started this stream early so I could get set up, but I just need to put a little piece of tea in here. What's up, Andrew? Oh, man. Sorry. How's it looking? Okay, it's all good. This tea's so hard to break, guys. I've got the real authentic stuff. So just give me a sec. Just want to add a little bit of darkness to this tea. I'll show you what we're working with in two seconds. Don't worry, Bruce. The news is coming. Heidi Ho. Heidi Ho. Uh, yeah, Oscan's on fire today. Oscan is on fire. We'll be taking a look at that. See how it's doing in the afternoon. Markets are selling off, though. All right, that's good enough for for now, guys. I just had to make my tea. So, obviously you guys know I'm all about my tea. But I think we did get that, that vote for the Safe Banking Act at about two o'clock. So let's see how the market reacted. But yeah, if you guys can see, I've got that Chinese tea. We'll let it steep for a little bit. HMMJ looks like a buy. All right, let's get straight to it. So let's go jump straight to the portfolio. Okay, cannabis stocks, cannabis stocks. Yes, sir. What's up, DG? <laughs> DG's in the room. I made a special tea for you today. <laughs> Eric bought a company earlier. All right, so here we go. Canvas stocks. Oscan up 17.39% holding on to all of its gains. Blissco really came out of came out of nowhere. Hips on fire too. I'm going to take a look and see how hips performed recently after they were bought by, uh, who bought them again? How am I drawing a blank here? Alifia Health up 4.64%, but you know what? Where is water? Alkaline Water Company only up 2.35% at 350. This is exactly what I talked about. I wanted to see Alkaline Water drop right back down to 350 by the time I started my afternoon stream. What do you know, guys? It's happened. So let's post that. I gotta quickly post that in the group. <laughs> well, well. 
Water back to 350. <laughs> Jesus. I missed it, bro. Crazy work schedule. So, look at this, though, guys. It's just so funny how you know me, how I've been talking about water. So, you know when I stream? I stream from 10.30 till... Oh, sorry. I stream from 10 until 11. So, started streaming. Water's doing whatever. Literally, 11 o'clock is the time that I get off my stream, take a look at the markets, and make my trades. And what the hell happens? Water explodes. Not impressed. Not impressed at all. But yes, I know water has water has diluted recently and the dilution was four million shares at two dollars and fifty cents US. So that's why I feel like right in around three forty, three fifty, because it's about three forty one USD or sorry, three forty one C A D is around the price that I see it staying at. So I'll pull up chat on my phone here and then we can uh, we can look at the rest of this stuff. 261. Yeah, so I mean right now right now it's hard to say. Honestly guys, by the looks of it, I think we're going to see a red close. I'm not too sure exactly, but the NASDAQ looks like it's about to dip into the red. Dow's hovering. I feel like we could potentially see a sell-off in the last hour of trade. I did not buy this rally one bit. There was, There's no data out this week until about Wednesday, Thursday. So that's stuff that's going to move the markets. But for now, this is just uh, the market makers moving money around, <laughs> creating more bear, bull traps. <laughs> so we'll look at all that kind of stuff in a second. Um, I just want to see what's in the red today. Can America brands, Kieran Life Sciences, oh, 360 risk is down to 50 cents. I should have been a little more patient on that one. Even MedMen's in the red today. MedMen's selling off, Kronos is, Recovering, which is surprising. NSP, tilt, alkaline water. I think alkaline water is going to continue to drop a little bit. I'm going to be patient on that one. Yeah, that was it was totally a phantom upswing today. I agree. Like one full percent on the S&P 500, which is... What's up, Crown Royal Green? <laughs> All right, so let's we can take a quick look at some of these individual charts. Yeah, safe looks like it's uh, safe did not hold fifty six cents. Safe has been dropping. This is one stock that it's one of my riskier picks over the recent little bit, and it's dropping to fifty cents. Looks like it's down trending now, and I would wait to see. It's a tough one now. <laughs> we'll see if we hold on to 50 cents. We own Chartwell Retirement Residences. I like Chartwell Retirement Residences, Northwest Healthcare Properties, CR Senior Living, and Extended Care. But uh, we can take a look at Chartwell. The only thing about Chartwell, uh, it yields a little bit lower than its counterparts, but it's got some very... Uh, solid assets, so that makes up for the lower yield. Didn't talk about Aurora yet or look at it, but we will in a sec. Although Northwest Healthcare Properties has been outperforming Chartwell quite substantially recently, the chart for Chartwell is looking pretty good. But yes, sir, we can talk about ACB. Yo, guys. We've got 69 people in this live stream. That's my favorite number. And of course, when that happens, it drops to 67. Damn. One more person. I just want to take a quick little Instagram story. Oh, well.
Virus 100% biome bar chart. What's up, Izercon? Izercon. So, ACB is actually in the red now. Looked like it was going to dip into the red. So, I had a few comments on my last video about how when I talk about a stock, I'm like, oh, I don't know, maybe we'll see, which is true. And I guess I could do a better job of saying why I think it's going to go down. But I guess I talk about it so much in my live streams, it's like I just kind of recap everything. But if, like I said, if the markets continue to roll over, I think ACB is going to follow the S&P 500. If we're going lower, we're going lower. But I do think the first support is going to be around 1170. So I think if the markets continue to remain un unstable, then the whole sector is going to pull back. I mean, we'll see what happens. We need more likes. IGNG had an update on the RTO. Uh, let's see here. Down 10%. Is IGNG a buy today? Wow, IGNG went from eight cents all the way up to 35 cents. So it almost 4 x If you got the update, feel free to drop the link in the chat and I will gladly take a look at it. Stay out of water, Aaron. <laughs> you guys are jokes. Um, we're gonna post the link to our Discord group quickly here in the chat and then give me a second. So yeah, water is not holding on to much. I think But yeah, drop that and I will definitely read it. Water is losing its gains. Is it another fake rally? Is it another fake rally for water? Potentially. Potentially, potentially. We're going to look at a bunch of other stuff too. Other portfolios, see how we're doing on the day. I thought the vote was at 2. <clears throat> That's why I made this live stream. Because I wanted to see market reaction. We're seeing oil rally like crazy. Mega Energy, Athabasca, Baytex. Custom points to Novus. Wow, we're actually seeing some of our oil positions in the green for a change. IIPR leading the show for US pot stocks. My goodness. All right, so let's get into our GT Gold up 10% ISO deal, 8% Hexo. Left's making some nice gains. Even FSD Pharma is doing pretty good today. International Canna Brands. MYM, all those cheap beat up stocks. The breaking news was <clears throat> the breaking news was supposed to be that safe bill. Vote. See what happens. <laughs> Steve. You're a funny guy. <laughs> what else you got? <laughs> Steve Steve likes to critique everything. Actually, if you look at actually it's not running away, it's just been this way for like a long time. <laughs> I just have a big shiny forehead. You can actually see how shiny it is. Hey Steve. In I'll save that joke for later. <laughs> Crop infrastructures in the green. <laughs> Man, water's losing it. Water's losing it. I just want to see. Yo, drop a like, folks. Yes. 27 likes. Oh 
Sorry, Nikki. Steve's Steve's out of Steve's is out of control today. Steve, did you take too many? Did you take too? Did you eat too many gummy bears today? Steve ate too many gummy bears. Don't worry. Steve's a joker within the community. He's uh, he gets a little out of control sometimes, but hopefully we can calm him down a bit. <laughs> Go make a meme. Steve, go make a meme. Come back. <laughs> go make some more memes. Come back with me. Come back at me when you got some something that can actually hurt my feelings. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways. Micron waste still going down Brookfield property. Do they make that shirt in men's sizes? <laughs> I don't know who has a hairy forehead at the same time. Personally, I wouldn't want to have a hairy forehead, so. Oh my gosh, that's a good one, yo, Nikki. Nikki's got jokes too. This is probably the only stream that gets this out of control when it comes to finance. What is happening? I, I feel bad for anyone who's going to watch this stream after and think, what the hell is this? Um, micron waste technology. I'm just going to focus on my stuff, guys. I'm sorry. It's way too distracting. We're also going to look at some mining stocks, too. That was the post on my Instagram. <laughs> Steve, what is your stock pick of the day? Let's get let's get your let's get your head out of the gutter and let's get back to uh, something productive. <laughs> Sorry, man. I I apologize, Josh. Steve likes to troll. <clears throat> I know this. This is this is very tame, though. I agree. Just stick with me here. I promise we'll have some quality content. We'll talk about some stuff. We'll look at some charts. We'll see if Steve can control himself for the next 30 minutes. All right, so VRUS. We're back to business here for now. The day that Steve drinks a cup of tea is the day that Aurora Cannabis hits $100 per share. Real biz media. Yeah, so... DG stocks called this out. Where did you buy in DG? You're you're in like really low. You know, I'm wondering why the Discord group's not growing as fast as it once was. Currently we're at I think no, no, we're we're at like 401 members now but I was wondering why it wasn't growing so fast probably because Steve's posting all his nude selfies in the group so anyways we're gonna be oh my gosh so the markets are making a little bit of a recovery yeah I guess so it's okay though I mean departure capital is not for everyone just like there's tons of channels out there that are not for everyone but honestly, Nikki, you're a really good sport because it's a bunch of uh, bunch of guys in this group, and uh, we need more we need more girls like you. We need more girls like you. That's for sure. <laughs> How much did they charge? 
How much do they charge at Kids Cuts? Well, I got a membership card with the stamps, so last haircut was free. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, Nikki, we do. I mean, Steve gets excited when one girl's in the chat. Imagine what would happen if there was like two. Mm. Nope. Yeah, that's that's probably true. Probably wouldn't be discussing stocks. Well, first Quantum's the leading copper stock on the day, but Turquoise Hills bouncing 2.25%. London Mining's up almost 2%. CMMC can't do anything. I should do a meme of Nikki. Oh my gosh. Girls in weed, what a day. Norbert's in the stream. Is this the cash button? Nope. Sorry, Norbert. There you go. There's nothing wrong with a bunch of dudes. I agree. But it's funny when Steve gets to when Steve gets out of control. <laughs> oh. Sammy here and is also a girl. Sammy's a girl. Yeah, sorry, Glenn. Hopefully it won't be that way at Niagara 420. <laughs> that is something else we got to talk about. Uh, Expo. Sausage. See, Sammy is here. Thank you. That's true. All right. So what do you know, guys? We got two girls in the chat. Awesome. So who's going to be coming to this event? Niagara 420. Say I. <laughs> Water keeps on selling off. Yo, yo, what's up, Errol? Errol. <clears throat> Did I say your name right, Errol? Oh, 69 people. My favorite number. Oh, my gosh, it just went to 68. Damn it. Oh well. <coughs> so will we see a green close or will we see a red close? It's a tough one right now. Carol without the C. Errol. Errol. Hey, okay, I'm a chick, guys. Just don't do that whole chat thing much. I bet you look but Okay, so there's three girls in the chat. That's interesting. Thanks for tuning in, Andy. Sorry about all the inappropriate business that Sir Steve has going on. But yeah, we're, we'll try and stay focused back to things. I don't know if you remember that one time when I, my stream got like hacked by some Russian sp spammer. He was spamming chickens in my stream. <laughs> what do we know? What do we know here? Northwest Healthcare Property is one of the biggest gainers on the day. Uh huh. Gold's moving back up into the green. Bear gold. In the green again. What are we're gonna hit twenty bucks soon for Barrick. That's what I like to see. Ooh, RNX is getting slammed down to fifty two cents. This is one that I'm kinda looking at picking up. Other than that, it's a pretty good day today. All those chickens turned you <laughs> just bought ten more stocks of ACB. Nice. Jimmy Santana, what's up? Russian tea spammer. Steve, you should send him a super chat for wasting his time. 
I know, right? Guyana Gold. Let's take a look at that. Steven, Steven, does your mom call you Steven? Steven, go back to your room. That's the second time today. Um, Guyana Goldfields, this sounds like an, an African play. Canada-based mineral development exploration company, <clears throat> company focused on the acquisition and development of gold in Guyana, South Africa. Aurora Gold Mine. Guys, we've found the next gold stock. They've got a gold mine called the Aurora Gold Mine. It's an operating gold mine project which is located in Guyana. 100% interest in the Aurora project. So we've found Aurora's play on the gold sector. This is awesome. Company also holds interest in land packs located in Aranka district of Guyana, 30 kilometers northeast of the Aurora gold mine. Sweet. Let's take a look at the charts. $218 million market cap. Excuse me. Do you have any info on the company? Whoa. What happened? I'll add it to the list. Do you guys have any more gold picks? There was one other company. GT Gold's absolutely on fire though. No, Steve. <laughs> Did you just start this stream? I started this stream, no, I started at 2.30. We were hoping for some news on the... Uh... Yeah, it's been on for about 30 minutes. We were hoping for some news on the Safe Banking Act bill. What the hell? I couldn't really find anything on it though. I'm supposed to have some news out about it today, but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Shut up, Steve. NMT, I think it's NMT. Mm, sorry. How can I not, sorry, yeah. How can I not find the ticker symbol? Hello from New Jersey, what's up John? I like Barrick over Newmount, but um, so I invest mostly in, in Canadian producers. But both the stocks did well after the after Barrick didn't buy Newmount. I bought Barrick on the dip. Okay. So Glenn. What does that mean for the news? When is it when is it gonna finally be out? If it wasn't for Forex, Canadians be investing in the US stock. Uh, yeah, 100% if the exchange rate wasn't crap. Yeah, let's see. 
And the other thing that uh, about U.S. stocks is the fact that we get charged a dividend tax credit, which is pretty, pretty annoying. So it's like it doesn't make sense for us to own dividend-paying U.S. stocks. Wondering which one has the biggest upside: ACB, tw potentially twenty-four with partnership. Can it be hundred dollars? C A N A. I couldn't find it. Oh, Can America Brands. It's already on the. It's already on the list. It was already on the list. Several bills are being debated in committee. Safe Act is one of them. Could be after four when committee votes. Then would have to be approved by the full house. <laughs> what is that? Ameritrade charged me $38 mandatory reorganization fees for the switch over from Emblem to Alifia. That's horrible. My gosh. What kind of <clears throat> what kind of position did you have in that? 38 38 bucks is nuts. At least you are sitting on some good gains, hopefully, because both those stocks skyrocketed. So, but that's pretty. That's pretty annoying. If it's a massive position, sure. But was it a flat fee, like a one-time flat fee? Because that's kind of BS. I'm just gonna look at a few different companies. Feel free to comment, guys, or tell me what you want to look at, or what you're looking at. So if you owned one share, you'd be charged $38. <laughs> That's crazy. Emblems trading for a dollar, just over a dollar. <laughs> Steve, go make a meme. I'll put some olive oil on it for you next time. Whatever is on your mind, just make sure there's no, nothing too explicit in there. I will. Wait till you see the next stream. You're going to be able to see yourself. So let's see here. Oh, Steven. Northwest Healthcare just continues on the run. This is one of this has been one of my favorite stocks. Looks like it's gonna push right up to twelve bucks. <laughs> what am I? <laughs> What am I on YouTube for if I'm going to get, if I'm going to get pissed? Hey guys, what happened with Hexo today? <laughs> Honestly, not going to lie, yesterday I got a little bit pissed off when someone new joined the stream and they asked, does anyone care about the stocks you're talking about? <laughs> go to my go to my uh, afternoon live stream yesterday you'll see me I get kind of pissed but then I but then the Canadian aspect of me t picked up and I was like oh sorry man if you're new to the stream <laughs> yeah of course we care about the stocks that that I'm talking about look at Barrick it's in the green today we're at almost 20 bucks a share. What's up, James? I care about all the stocks you talk about. Thank you, Jacob. See? <laughs> Knowledge, entertainment, Steve. That's what you come to Departures Capital for. <laughs> Mm 
But it's not even that. Sh well, it is kind of shiny today, actually, a little bit. Thanks, Steve. I care about having a regular BM. Debating some RNX today, but that rally was short lived. Very short, very, very short lived. And I feel like we could head a bit lower. Maybe 40, 46 cents, 47 cents. <laughs> Did you really read that out loud? <laughs> yep. We need Doug in here. Doug needs... Oh, shoot. <laughs> we need Doug in here to straighten you out, Steve. Come on. Steve is acting up. <laughs> Aaron can't read. Sorry guys, I can't read English. I can only read stock charts. English is my second language. First, quantum minerals. Ugh. There's that alien baby song again. Yeah, man, sorry. Baby song, alien baby song. You guys are some creative group of people. I tell ya. The name link of my Discord group is right here. There we go. Bam. <laughs> Come on, this is a beat. Like, but we're seeing the markets pull up a little bit. Ah, oh, mixed day today. See you, Bruce Linton on Midas, watching both of you. Thank you, thank you. We're still getting people tuning in when Bruce Linton is is talking. We'll see if we'll see if Canopy's stock gets affected. Yeah, let's pull it up. Let's see what's up. Thanks, man. I love all your videos. You saved me a lot of money. Good stuff, Calvin C. You will three awards today. Most gave me the most. <laughs> Longest show that accomplishes nothing. Oh, Steven. Just keep watching. That's all I got to say. I told you to go make a meme. What are you still doing here? No, we can't. No, we can't ban Steve. It's okay. I'll just mute him so he so he thinks we can see his comments, but we can't actually. No, I'm kidding. Don't worry, Steve. I won't do that. Just behave. Behave to a to a certain extent. <laughs> uh, I'm closing off these tabs. But we can watch Canopy, see if it does anything. Jeff Bishop's giving us his sales pitch right now. Thank you. That's kind of my goal. Yeah, you're probably right.
Here, let's take a quick look and see how many people are watching Brucey. Let's say, let's go say what's up. Only seven likes. Bruce needs to ask for some likes. What's up, Bruce? Great. Uh, stuff. No. Good stuff. Alrighty. Hello, James. That's a good one. Alrighty, so next. No, it's hard to say about water. Sips tea. You betcha. Aaron is my brother from another mother. I have the right to troll. Yeah, me and Steve go. Me and Steve go way back. What is intrinsic value of ACB? <clears throat> Hold on a sec, buddy, Calvin. Um, so you asked me a question. Should I pull back on Kronos and Canopy? That's a really tough, really tough call right now. Kron's recovered really nicely, surprisingly, today. I didn't expect Kron to recover. Yo, what's up, Launch7? Thank you for tuning in to Punches Capital, sponsored by Twinnings. Twinnings, hopefully David's tea soon as well, so that'd be pretty cool. Um, look at Wirecard, told you fake news. Sure thing. David's T stock is very, very cheap right now. I remember you talking about Wirecard. What was the news about the company? Harps T. Payment and risk management applications with focus on the development and provision of technologies and services for payment transactions. Three segments. Payment proce processing and risk management. Yes, sir. Go go ahead. Post those links. I will. Uh, I'll allow them. If you want to do that. Ooh. Key Congressional Committee to vote on marijuana banking bill. Nope. Not today. Give me one sec, I'll read it. The green screen is still here, but we're just not we're just not fully using it. We're actually losing light. That's why you see all this like stuff down here. Wowzers, okay guys. So let's read this for you guys and then I'm gonna do a quick recap and I'm gonna bounce because I wanna shoot that other video. <coughs> Watch live key congressional committee to vote on marijuana banking bill. I have two lights if you really want to see. How shiny is that for you, Steve? What's up, Max? They're hiding. They're they're hiding right now. Hit that like button, yes. Let's read this stuff. Sorry, guys. 
Yeah, what do you think I record after hours in this studio? Not just YouTube. A major congressional committee is scheduled to vote on a series of bills t on Tuesday. That includes bipartisan legislation that would protect financial institutions from being penalized by federal regulators for working with marijuana businesses. Da -da -da. The Secure and Fair Enforcement Bank Banking Act is meant to give banks reassurance that servicing cannabis businesses will not result in federal prosecution. You can watch the meeting at which the House Financial Services Committee is slated to debate and vote on the legislation below. The panel's agenda is stacked and the cannabis bill may not come up until members reconvene on Wednesday. Currently, the bill has 144 co-sponsors, including 12 Republicans. That's the most support that a standalone piece of marijuana legislation has ever received in Congress. <laughs> oh, I know. I do have an orange tinge now. The committee held a hearing last month to discuss banking issues in the cannabis industry and the Safe Banking Act specifically. So, we might not get the decision until tomorrow, but that's the update. That's the news. Play YouTube video. It's live. All right, so we'll take a quick look and see what's going on here. If you guys want to watch. But it's also an additional idea, making sure that we have incentives. Uh, Hold to on. Make Do you guys want to watch this for a little bit? Let's, let's vote. One is yes, two is no. Steve's vote doesn't count. So Errol does, okay, so one no, one yes, one yes, two yes. First to five wins. <laughs> yes, tell us what we are talking about. Okay, guys. This information gathering it's been decided. possible, and we're gonna play the video. HR 389, the Kleptocracy Asset Recovery Reward Act, establishes a treasury-based rewards a program to incentivize individuals to notify the U.S. government of stolen assets that are linked to foreign government corruption. These assets At least you can learn something in this dream luxury now. items like mansions, jets, Makes me feel a bit and museum-quality artwork in addition to cash and are controlled by U.S. persons. Through this whistleblower rewards program, U.S. authorities will be better able to identify, recover, and return these assets to victims. The FBI and its law enforcement partners already work hard to find these stolen assets. They have recently recovered, for example, an estimated $140 million for Malaysia through the seizure and sale of the partial ownership of New York's famed Park Lane Hotel. It was previously brought and laundered money, with laundered money, from the multi-billion dollar 1MDB scandal involvement Goldman Sachs that defrauded the people of Malaysia. Also related to the 1MDB scandal, the FBI has identified $1.7 billion of the stolen assets laundered into a yacht, artwork, and real estate. Similarly, in the corruption and money laundering cases against the Equatorial Guinea's uh, President Obiange and his son, the U.S. helped to recover over $30 million from the sale of real estate, a Ferrari, and rare music memorabilia. Most of the resulting funds were given by the U.S. to a charity we'll that give benefited it a few the more people minutes. of Equatorial Guinea. The bill would direct the Treasury to pay rewards for helping to uncover assets like those to whistleblowers from the proceeds of, of the recovered stolen assets. Modeled after similar programs at agencies like the Internal Revenue Service and the U.S. Department of State, this bill will go a long way in helping to punish and deter the bad acts these foreign criminals and helping victims and their countries recover from the effects of corruption. So I not only thank Mr. Lynch and Mr. Budd for introducing this bill and believe that they are correct 
that this program would improve the ability of the United States to make corruption less profitable and more expensive for the criminals who fleece their country's coffers. And so I'd also like to thank uh, the ranking member, Mr. McHenry, for his leadership and for his support, working along with Mr. Lynch and Mr. Budd uh, for bringing us to this point of being able to present uh, a program that I think will be extremely beneficial. And so I support like button, this anti-kleptocracy bill and the gentleman's amendment along with it. Please. That. Is there further discussion? Uh, yeah, sorry. That, um, that's going to be a very long time. So the last thing I'm going to do in this stream is recap everything. <laughs> I've been watching Oscan for an extremely long time. Okay. Sorry, Steve. You're gonna have to go. Uh, you're gonna have to go watch that. I just want to recap this stuff, and then I gotta head out because I gotta f shoot the end of end of day video. Back to your normal scheduled content. So first, Quantum is the leader of the copper stock. We've been watching copper stocks. Pretty closely recently, Turquoise Hill bouncing 2.9%, Freeport, London Mining, and Copper Mountain not doing too much. That's okay, it will happen. Lots of green for the defensive portfolio. Gold miners moving quick into the green. Stocks for 2019, GT Gold Biggest Gainer on the day, FSD, Leafy Health, International Canna Brands. <sighs> Lots of green, not too much red. IQ is the biggest loser. Sad to see MedMen dipping into the red. But not a bad day. And our cannabis stock portfolio. Yeah, Calvin, okay, so it's all it's all in the link of or sorry, it's all in the description of most of these videos here. Let me just let me just see if I can find it for you. Yeah, so Discord groups right there. That's live chat. This is on our website. This is our news service. And then everything else. But I'd recommend joining the Discord group and checking that out. Yeah, I accuse the Netflix of China. That's right. So. Quite a bit of green for the cannabis sector. Cali's the biggest loser on the day. Other than that, not too much. We're seeing Alkaline Water continue holding 350, though. We'll see if it can sell off a little bit more into the close. Yeah, Steve, I have a subscription service. Why don't you, why don't you go check it out? I mean, uh, I'll show you right here real quick. Oh, man. Bruce, he's still on there. Can't believe you didn't know that. That's what Departures Capital VIP Trader is. This, this report's a little bit outdated, but I mean, uh, you just click on that, you can see the report. The reports have gotten longer now, about 50 pages, but it's got tons of different sectors, tech, mining, cannabis, etc. So, <laughs> what's up, Clay Say? <laughs> Nice to have you in here. What are you doing today? I was just about to leave, but I'll I'll stay for five more minutes. <laughs> I'll stay for five more minutes. There we go. We've got some live testimonials. So Steve's been a bad boy today in the stream. You missed it. He threw me off for a solid fifteen minutes. <laughs> I'm headed there now. I appreciate you. Thanks, man. Later. No worries. I'm sorry. Spank. Steve. 
Steven, Steven, Steven. Yeah, no CBD until after the gym today, but we I'll do one more shot of tea. I'm going to stay for five more minutes just to chat with you guys. I know today, honestly, both streams have been more so a chat, other than me getting really frustrated with the Alkaline Water Company as it skyrockets, like, literally five minutes before I was about to buy it. And hit that like button. Yeah, Doug, what do you think about that? What do you think about that? Damn alkaline water company skyrocketing. The guy was probably watching my stream, ready to put in that fifty million dollar order. As soon as I went off live, he's like, "I don't want to look behind me." Other than that, no, I'm happy to see gold in the green again. At least the miners. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's right, Steve. Thanks for reminding me. 350 is still pretty low. Yeah, I know. It's true. We'll see. We'll see where it closes out. I feel like the last, uh, well, we're seeing the last hour of trade right now. Markets are 0.4%. We lost, we did lose quite a bit of that rally today. We'll see. That's not really that great of a look, great looking of a rally. I kind of think we're gonna drop tomorrow. This is what I want. Links in the chat to the Discord group for anyone who hasn't joined yet. Drop everything but ACB, please. That'd be a dream. That's about it for now, guys. I definitely do have to go soon. YouTube Mobile is snaking. I can't find the like button. So you got to, if you got the chat up, you got to press X and it's right there. And then live chat's in the middle. I don't know if you're on Android or iPhone. Message me later on Facebook about that stock. I'll look at it. We'll see what's we'll see what's going on for that one. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, it only takes a few seconds to hit the like button. That's true. So hope you enjoyed this stream today. It was a little bit off topic, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So. One more sip of tea. And I'm out of here. So I'll be releasing the market recap video like I do every day. So tune into that and we'll see you guys soon.